Welcome to the great scavenger hunt of Northampton. 25 miles of scenic bike rides. 15 clues. Can you do it? Starting at Pulaski Park, enjoy your wild ride through town, stopping at locations like these. Like the Arctic Tundra. And tropical waterfalls. So folks, put on those training wheels, hop on that tricycle, and take a wild ride through Northampton and enjoy our scavenger hunt. Your final destination will be your place of education. According to the content and comparison site Comparison, the world's richest man, Amazon.com founder and CEO Jeff Bezos may become the world's first trillionaire in what's estimated to be six years, and the current global pandemic may be speeding the process. Amazon.com's sales topped $75 billion in the first quarter, driven by the demand during the pandemic that has kept people at home and dependent on at-home delivery services of everything from groceries to exercise equipment. This past Monday, Governor Charlie Baker announced that Massachusetts aims to step up its testing capacity to make the process more accessible to residents with mild symptoms of the coronavirus and possibly asymptomatic people in hotspots in other populations. The state's goal is to have labs perform up to 45,000 coronavirus tests daily, up from the state's current capacity of 30,000. Baker said his administration set a goal of up to 75,000 daily tests by December. Hi, I'm Gus. Welcome to Make It Yourself. This week, we're gonna make a herringbone wall hanging um, out of a pallet that I found behind Walmart. For this project, you'll need a one foot by one foot piece of plywood, um, and a pallet, and uh, a saw, and some glue. So this is a half a pallet. You can use a whole one, doesn't matter. Um, and now I'm going to break it down to use the wood. Now that I have the wood, I have to make sure all the angles are 90 degrees because it's very important that uh, this lumber is correctly cut. Now we have to make the part that the top pieces are going to glue onto. I'm going to use some plywood, but you could use particle board, Really anything, you know, you probably have something at home. So I'm gonna cut out a one foot by one foot square for the pieces to glue onto. So I just sketched uh, the square that I'm gonna be using roughly around uh, these uh, boards. And I'm gonna cut them out. Uh, and this is this isn't the final cut. Um, then we're gonna glue them down and we'll cut them after. So here I have all the parts that I'm gonna be using that I cut out. And I've numbered them so I know where they go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on here. I'm gonna brush it around. Pretty uh, pretty healthy serving of glue because uh, these aren't perfectly flat. And then we're going to clamp them down, but you could just use, you know, a piece of wood with a brick or a cinder block on there, or uh, something heavy. Now that the glue has set, I have to cut it out around the shape of the square.
So once you've cut it out, you could just finish it and this could be, you know, what it is and you can uh, attach some string and hang it up. But I'm going to go a step further and I'm going to make some uh, frame to go around the edge, um, which will just kind of uh, make it look a little nicer. Hi, I'm Katie, and this week I'm writing letters to my friends while in quarantine, and I'm going to show you my process of decorating the letters. I like to use fun lettering as much as possible, so I'm doing bubble letters to write the intro of my letter. Then I went back in with a glittery pen and made the letters pink. After I wrote out the letter, I added little doodles in the corners and margins. I wrote letters to three friends, and then I worked on the envelopes. I did lots of doodling on the front. As long as you don't cover the address, return address, or stamp, you can go crazy with doodles. Then I tucked the letter inside and sealed it with tape, not by licking the envelope as that would be problematic in this time period. I added a sticker and some more doodles. After I decorated all the letters and envelopes, I went to the post office and mailed them off. Nice of you. Here it is. Oh, I just want to take a moment to appreciate how nice Katie's handwriting is. Okay, thank you, Katie. Hi, I'm Lucas Lang, and this week I'm joined by my college roommate Tracy Chardonnay. Tracy, are you there? Yes, yeah, going. Lucas. Going, going pretty well. Um, you know, just trying to like, keep busy. How are you doing? I'm good. I've just been, I was trimming my mustache, and I think it's actually looking really good. Yeah, yeah. How long you've been working on that bad boy? I've had this probably since quarantine started, so two months, I'd say. So, Tracy, um. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a you know celebrity news correspondent on um, GNZ, um, and uh, and I'm you know I've just there's been so much crazy stuff going on in the celebrity world, um, so you know I, I figured I would help everybody out um, at, you know with the celebrity news and uh, you know just have a have a fun time and um, I believe and afterwards we can talk about payment. Um, you know, I haven't been paid in a couple of months, and so it's it's been really tough. Okay. Um, uh, so let's start with, um, you know, so, some celebrity news. Um, you said there's a lot going on, so can you tell us what's going on in Hollywood right now? Oh boy, there's a lot. Um, well, you know, I think, I think I'm going to start off where everybody wants us to start off. Jimmy Carter, who I think we've all been waiting to hear about, and Dua Lipa um, are recording an album at the moment, and um, it's going to be featuring, there's going to be songs with Lil Uzi Vert, um, there's going to be songs with old recordings of Frank Sinatra um, from before he died, 
Um, and it's, and they, my sources have told me that all over this process of making the album, they've, you know, gone on a couple of dates. Um, and they're, they, you know, I, I, I called up Jimmy on the phone this morning and he told me that they are, you know, they're, they're official, they're officially dating. So. Wow. That's exciting um, news. I understand you have something to say about an up and coming talent, Mario Bouncy. You know, everybody watching knows all about Mario Bouncy, but what they don't know is that right now he's working on a new skateboard video game to rival that of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's called Mario Bouncy's Bounce Bounce Board, and it works on all platforms except for Xbox, PS4, PC, Wii, um, Nintendo Switch, so and um, and mobile. Um, you know, it's just a couple hours a day, and you know the. And I think that's worth it to get some more Bounce Bounce points for your, your new puppy. That was Tracy Chardonnay on the Celebrity Gossip. Thanks for watching, everyone.